The problem statement in question 10 says the 17th term of an AP exceeds its 10th term by 7. We have to find the common difference. So before I present the algebraic solution to you, I want you to visualize the key idea behind this question and I'm going to show you a figure for that. So look at this figure which shows the terms of this AP. Now this is this term here is T10 the 10th term and this term here is T17 the 17th term and to get from the 10th term to the 17th term we have to make these seven jumps and each jump is of the size of the common difference. So for example the first jump is D the second jump is D and so on. So we have to make seven jumps of D to get from T10 to T17. And we are also told that the difference between T10 and T17 is 7. So this difference, numerical difference between uh, the 17th term and the 10th term is 7. The 17th term is 7 more than the 10th term. And this immediately tells us what the answer will be. So we must have 7D, 7 jumps of D should be equal to 7. And this means that each step of D should be equal to 1 or the common difference should be equal to 1. But if this question comes on a test or an exam, the way to write this, the way to write the solution would be as follows. So you will assume that the first term, the first term of the AP is A and you will assume that the common difference is let's say D and then you will write expressions for T10 and T17. So T10 will be a plus n minus 1d so n is, in this case is 10 so this t10 will be a plus 9d and t17 will be a plus n minus 1d n is 17 in this case so this will be a plus 16d and now we have now we will make use of the fact that t17 exceeds t10 by uh, 7 so t17 minus t10 should be equal to 7 and this means that a plus 16d minus a plus 9d should be equal to 7 and from here we see that the a terms cancel out and we are only left with 16d minus 9d so that's 7d this is equal to 7 or d is equal to 1 so we get the same answer as what we got uh, when visualizing the key idea behind the problem now one more observation to be made here is that the answer does not depend on the first term a and this is simply because the difference between any two terms of an AP only depends on the common difference. So in general if you have uh, a term Tm and a term Tn in an AP so you will have to make to go from Tm to Tn you will have to make how many steps so you will have to make n minus m these many steps of d so for example if you had an ap and you took the terms let's say t20 and t50 then to go from t20 to t50 you would have to make 30 jumps of d so the difference between t20 and t50 will be 30 d so the answer does not the difference of two terms of an ap does not depend on their uh, on the first term of the AP. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.